Hey, thanks for visiting our website. This is a short video about the advantages and disadvantages of giving a statement to an insurance company when you've been in a car accident. So here we're talking about the other guy's insurance, meaning the person who is at fault. So this isn't the insurance company for you. It's the other guy's insurance. Your relationship with them is, is adversarial, by the way. Adversarial meaning they're not on your side, exactly. They might be friendly and, and helpful in many instances, and mostly are. But their interests are opposed to yours, and they don't have any like contractual or obligation to do, to do right by you. They really don't have to do anything until a judge orders them to do so. Often they will. They might want to avoid you hiring a lawyer. They might want to avoid, if you have a lawyer, going to court. So they're probably going to eventually pay before the judge orders them to. But they definitely don't have to, to pay you anything without a judge ordering it. So anyway, when they call you up looking for a statement or looking even to talk to you, what are the pros and cons of dealing with them directly in that way? So the advantages are you're giving them information for their file. They have to know really how you're doing. The more important information is the medical evidence, the reports, maybe the physiotherapy, massage records, but what you say matters and you're giving them information about what you're going to say and what you are saying at that time. Maybe it shows openness on your part that you're willing to talk to them. And maybe you'll build a rapport and be able to work things out with them easier. So what are the, some of the disadvantages? Or are there any? Yes, there definitely are some. Um, one problem is that things can get twisted. So the information you give them may be used by somebody else down the road and things could be twisted. Like you might, they might say, okay, so say they say, we're going to do a recorded statement. Hey, um, so-and-so, how are you doing today? And you say, oh, I'm doing good. Just as a polite interchange, exchange, you're just saying I'm doing good. You don't mean like you're pain-free or your injury is not a problem. But it could be twisted later. Like, oh, well, you said you're doing good on that day. That's maybe not the best example, but it's one of how, how things can get twisted down the road or misinterpreted, maybe not even intentionally, right? Another problem is we tend, people think, oh, I don't want to be perceived as exaggerating. I don't want to be perceived as someone who's out for a big um, cash play here, get some money from the insurance. I was hurt, but I don't want to exaggerate. I don't want to be seen to exaggerate. So what people end up doing more often than not is, is downplaying the problem and not being forthright about really how much of a problem it is. And most of us are like that. We downplay our problems. We don't play them up. So in this scenario, you're probably uncomfortable even talking about it. It's a weird situation. And I would say most of our clients tend to downplay things when they're asked about it. Compared to when we're talking openly, kind of off the record, not during a statement, and they're explaining the problems they're having when they're in. You know, so be, be conscious of that if you do talk to the insurance company. Another problem is, you might get mixed up, put on the spot, just say the wrong thing or, or get the facts wrong. So those are the general off-the-cuff advantages and disadvantages of providing a statement to the insurance company. Once you're with the lawyer, the lawyer would talk to you and help you prep for the statement and attend the statement with you and protect you and make sure things don't get twisted downplayed or mixed up. But by providing the information and talking to the insurance company with the lawyer, you're still showing openness, you're still building a good rapport, and you're providing the insurance company with information. So that's the pros and cons of giving a statement to the other guy's insurance. Thank you.